Okay. So one or two games this morning. Um, let's play uh, symmetrical again, like yesterday. Symmetrical English. <laughs> Just mirroring the moves until an improvement can be found. Also gains time on the clock. So piggybacking off the opponent's ideas. Yep, that's the reason why they're B6. B3 is, it looks good. I think. So I'll carry on the mirror. Yeah, D5, why not? <laughs> oh, hang on, there's a pin there, so you can't win D5 yet. Because uh, of this... Uh, Okay, so I can't mirror, obviously, but I, I don't think you can take it on d5 because of this. So maybe d4 is coming up. So I've broken this uh, mirroring. Uh, am I losing a pawn? Straight off. What about d4? It's like a4. Queen b6. Uh, Bishop g4, that's bishop c5, queen b6, that's knight d5, queen d6, that's knight d5. Hmm, alright, that leaves d4 then. So, uh, even though there's knight a4, there's nothing much I can do. Change. Right. So somehow, yeah, I think he, he's um, innovated quite successfully to break the mirror there. Wasn't paying attention enough. Uh, have I got anything with this C pawn? Like Bishop G4s? Maybe we'll see one Bishop G4. Bishop F5. Hmm. Alright. It's almost C2 here. C2. Uh, Rook D2. Bishop H6. Knight F5. Bishop takes d2. Oh, I'll try it. c2. So rook c1, bishop d4. Right. Can I just take on d1 now? Okay, need a pawn down. Uh, I'll sit the bishop somewhere. C3 maybe, just to get a key out, it's G7. Okay, actually C3 stops rookie ones at the moment. It's not as bad. So yeah, that was lazy mirroring. <laughs> Just losing loads of material for nothing. Uh, so, how to outplay someone um, opposite colored bishops? Uh, okay, bishop d5, rook f6, and maybe bishop d4. Uh, bishop d4 now, bishop f7. So, uh, okay, I'll try and protect this pawn. G5, G4, forcing, trying to force F4. Or, uh, is there anything else? H4, H4, trying to get a dangerous H pawn. 
but keep it on the dark squares with the dark square bishop. If I get pawn to h3, okay, king over here. h3 but it is vulnerable h3 is a light square bishop potentially if it gets the bishop f1 mind you this pawn has trouble for that so um mm, yeah uh, well, let's go for that anyway h3 oh, he's got rook f7 wasn't the greatest um, idea in the world. Uh, so bishop e5 here. Try to get in maybe rook c6 to c2. Or bishop g3 and h2. Maybe bishop g3 and h2 is a better idea. And stuffed out, snuffed out. This I can get. No, he's going to play rook c4. Um, okay, I get pawn to a3. He's going to play rookie six now. I'll stop rookie six from the exchange of rooks. Um, pawn to a3. What about bishop d4? D4 check. Uh, is it better to play A3 first? Hmm. Okay, AB might be forced here. Uh, Bishop D4 and can't get the rook in still. Anywhere. Okay, I'll try over here. Let's go rook, rook e8. Oh, there was rook c7. Okay, if rook e6, rook a8. Maybe the rook is coming in, so this h3 pawn is a chance. Okay. Um, play rook here. Rook a3, rook b6, rook a3. Oh, bishop g1, okay. It's two pawns on pre. It's getting a bit short on time. I'll take this pawn. Things are looking up. Um, oh, rook d4, things are really looking up now. <laughs> yes, uh, this is the fun of blitz. Uh, the swindle factor. I'm in g4 now to cement the other pawn. Okay. King's cut off. I'll just drive the king in. Yep. He's uh, lost contact or quit. Uh, <laughs> disconnected. Don't blame him. So this this is not an example, a good example of successful mirroring. Uh, so by playing b3 and b6 he's prompted me to, to weaken the diagonal and now d4 d5 is a real Muppets move <laughs> because he just takes on d5 and then takes on c5 and there's a big problem here that he's going to take on d5 and I can't mirror that move knight takes d5 so he's, he's <laughs> so c takes d5 <laughs> Maybe the problem is here that I played e takes d5. Maybe c takes d4. Uh, so c takes d4. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.